I've got um, Bayon Lee Arashi right here, uh, joining us via Zoom all the way from Houston, Texas. And of course, he's a broadcaster and a football entrepreneur. Uh, good to have you with us, Bayo. Very excited to be here. Good morning. Good morning. It's 2 a.m. over there in the USA. Actually, it's a little bit uh, uh, later than that now. It's about, at this time, it's about 3.50 a.m. So wow. the time is... Uh, Okay. Always different. Uh, what's the situation like over there, talking about the spread of COVID-19? Hope you're keeping safe. Well, uh, we're staying safe as much as we can. Uh, but as you know, that the U.S. has the highest number of deaths and contact of the uh, disease here yeah. uh, due to uh, the way the leadership of the country handled it at the beginning. But um, it is what it is. Um, we are still here, so we have to stay safe and keep ourselves alive. True. I'm sure you heard the, the conversation so far on the spot show, and I will talk a bit about Johnny Gallo. What's your take? Do you think he should have gone back to China or stay back at Manchester United to fight for um, his role right there at the club? Um, I think um, Johnny Gallo did what he has to do. Um, he was uh, that's that's a once in a lifetime opportunity for that striker um, to play for Manchester United, and as that uh, earlier uh, presenter said, uh, the guy did very, very well uh, when he first started playing for them. I mean, one match, one bad match doesn't make someone a bad striker suddenly. So, uh, but at his age and with the level of competition at Manchester United, um, definitely he will always be a fringe player there. Mm. So I don't think he himself will expect anything less than what he's getting right now. So if he has the opportunity uh, to sign for another, maybe smaller club in England, he, he would love to take it. Because for him, at his age right now, I don't think it's all about the money for him anymore. I think what is more important for him at this time is for him to be successful, uh, playing the game and making, showing example to the younger generation of strikers or players that are to come from Africa or Nigeria, the biggest football playing nation in Africa. So um, it, it, it's a decision of self. And I think he has done the right thing. If they don't want to resign him in January, he has the option of returning back to China to keep earning the big money that he's, he used to, he's used to earn it. So uh, it's, it's, it's all good for him, whichever route he chooses to go. Mm, true. Now, on, on that one, would you say that Johnny Gallo has had a successful football career? Absolutely. Absolutely. What, what, what more do you want from someone that has uh, played in Spain, he's played in England, mm. China, scored a lot of goals, um, play for national team, very successful for the national team as well. Though some of us will have wished for more uh, with the Super Eagles of Nigeria, mm. but he, he left the scene at the time he thinks it's best for him to give the younger generation an opportunity. So yeah. absolutely, um, he's, Johnny Gallo is a successful striker, he's a successful player and a great motivation for any player. I'm sure you, you saw that picture as well of how he dreamt of playing for Manchester United yeah. when he was in his teenage years. And now he has realized that dream. So uh, it just shows you what the power of dream can do. He mm. had a focus and he stuck with it. And here, yeah, he has achieved it. Mm. All right. I'm now excited that, for him. Very true. And that brings me back to um, your book. You wrote a book on the roadmap to a successful football career. Would you want to quickly take us through on your inspiration, your motivation, what motivated you to writing that book? Thank you very much for that question. Um, I decided to write that book uh, due to my journey in the career of football. Um, I've been a broadcast journalist for 21 years now. I started with uh, MITV in Lagos in, in 1999. I worked with AIT. And in a while with AIT, I, I had the opportunity to cover some uh, at least two FIFA World Cup and four Africa Cup of Nations um, as a volunteer broadcaster, you know, working behind the scene. And this actually gave birth to I me mean, starting a football academy. I took the academy to tournaments in Europe, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, some African countries. So all this experience put together, a lot of players do contact me like, oh, how do I become a successful football player? And most of them keep falling uh, short of what is needed to um, get to that stage where they really need to get to, to be able to like sign a professional contract. So I decided to put the book together, like, okay, there is actually like a guide. There's a step-by-step -step, uh, things you have to do for you to be able to achieve this. Many of our young men today, I'm sure you know too, and 
maybe you meet them every day. They want to become the next. Uh, I don't want to mention Morata that I just signed for Atletico yeah. Madrid, but Morata is also successful as far as we are concerned. But they want to be the next Lionel Messi. They want to be the next Cristiano Ronaldo. Many of them are not aware that this thing takes process. It's, it's not actually a one or two year process. It takes many years of hard work, consistency, and doing the right thing. Many players do not know that they need to, at least for them to start at all, they have to start early. They have to be very honest with themselves about the level of talent. Mm. Some are talentless. Let me use that word. And mm -hmm. they just want to become the next Ronaldo. They don't have the skill, but they want to become the next Ronaldo. So the book explains the step-by-step -step guide of what you need to do and how you need to go about it for you to really um, achieve that level of success that you want in your professional career. So it's, it's right here displayed. And it, it is a very, sh not such a big book, but it's detailed. Uh, I've had a lot of reviews uh, from a lot of folks that have had opportunity to come about it. And one of the first reviews I always love to mention that is the current uh, Vice President of Nigeria Football Federation, yeah. Barista Shia Kiyomi. And I remember in 2014, but as far back as six years ago, when he when he saw the book, it's like this is going to be a success, and this is needed among our youth. So one of the things I'm working on now is to create enough uh, opportunity for them to hear about the book, just like you are giving us right now, mm. for them to know that they need to read to be aware of what they need to do. Don't pay somebody to take you to try out Arsenal mm. without Arsenal knowing you. Arsenal has to know you. You have to see the way the likes of Chukwese, the, love of, the likes of Usimen, yeah. how they evolve from national team onto the professional and international scene. So it takes process, guys. Mm. That's what the book is all about, and that's what is detailed in it. Mm. All right. I'm sure we'll still have enough time uh, some other day to talk more about the book. But let me quickly ask you this one before I let you go. Um, don't you think we should have a way to involve the Nigerian Professional Football League players to have this book because a lot of these players just have, we call them one season wonders. They get to shine in one season and they're already looking for greener pastures. But I read the book and I know it's also a good guideline, not just for football, but sports in general for how to become very successful <laughs> in that relevant sport that you've chosen to partake. But what, what is the plan with the NFF? Is there a way that we're going to have this book for the Nigerian Professional Football League clubs? I am really hopeful um, that they, they, they do that. But the truth of the matter is um, my target is actually the younger generation yeah. because trust me, bro, um, I'm not giving up on these ones that we have right now that are playing professionally, but it's almost something that we, ca we might not be able to catch up with. Mm. But absolutely, the book is available. Uh, the local production is available back home uh, with, at Apple uh, Bookstores. Uh, in Nigeria, they can easily order there and read. Uh, but hopefully, in the nearest in the next few months, I will be available to um, not just sell the book, but to share uh, my experience. Also, working with the United States Soccer Federation, I'm a Grade Seven referee with uh, U.S. Soccer. I see the way uh, football is being organized in 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 a, in a saner climate. Let me okay. put it that way. There are there are things that we need to put in place. But more importantly, like I said, my target is actually the younger ones, the one that we can still work on uh, to change their orientation and mindset that, right. look, guys, there are things that you need to do to really be able to get to the very top of your career. So uh, mm -hmm. if the uh, Football Federation is willing to partner uh, us on this, absolutely, I'll be willing to do that. Because right. at the end of the day, that's what we, we, we intend to achieve for All them right. to be able to see it and be able to make use of it and become successful in whatever they choose to choose. And like we said, the book is useful for all other sports and but not just football. All right. Thank you very much, Bayer, for your time. We will surely have another time to talk more about the book. But I'd like to say thank you very much. Thank you for having me this early morning. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right.